Hey, how's it going everybody? So today in this video, what we're going to be showing is how to migrate data from one Airtable base to another, or this could really be used anywhere where you have an export of CSV information or data that is comma in comma separated value format and importing that effectively into an Airtable database. So especially one that already exists where you want to add new information into it. So that's what we're going to be going through. I'm currently migrating from my old CRM in Airtable to my new CRM in Airtable. And we're gonna be showing taking time entry records and migrating them from one to the other. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right in. My name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. We help businesses set up systems just like these CRMs that I'm gonna be showing you today. Uh, and if you're interested, you can click the link in the description and learn more about how we help people do that. So without further ado, I'm gonna show Airtable. This is my old CRM that we're looking at here. I have this filtered. We're actually gonna export more than just the filtered data here but I didn't want to reveal all the client information. Uh, so we're going to be exporting all of this data from this database into a CSV, and then we're going to be importing that into the other one. So the data we have here, every record is a different time entry record from a tool called Toggle. Uh, you can see I do a lot of unfocused work or sales in this set of data. I have records in here going back like two or maybe three years. So it's a good amount of data and I want to export it. So the first thing that I did in Airtable, and if you're not exporting out of Airtable, then you can kind of skip this part, but this is just me making sure I have the right data that I'm going to export. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have all the right fields. So these are all the fields in Airtable that I'm exporting. I've already went through these and unhid. So I, like if I wanted to bring in this field, I would unhide it from this and I would make it visible here in this report uh, because everything I'm going to export, it's only going to export what you see here. So it's only going to export the records and it's only going to export the fields that you see. And that's what we're going to do. So I really don't need these last two fields here. So I'm going to hide those and I really don't need this field either. So this is the report. It should be pretty clean. There's may, there are probably not any in this one, but there will be. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. I'm going to unfilter this, but in order to export it, I'm going to click up here where it says all data, and then I'm going to click download CSV. So we can actually just do this right now and I'll unfilter it later. Okay. So now in my downloads, I have a thing that says toggle all data. So it says toggle and then the name of the view, which is all data. And now what I want to go do is I want to go open up my CRM, which you'll see here. I'm going to collapse this view over here, these views, and I'm in my toggle table. So now there's a really useful way to import data into Airtable uh, via CSV, and that is via an extension. So if you go up here in the top right and click extensions, you click add an, add an extension, click on CSV import. It's one of the most popular ones that I use. Click add extension. So this is actually our first extension, which is exciting. Uh, so now when you open that up and if you've already had it, maybe just go up to extensions and you see this one. I usually make this one full screen. Uh, on my desktop, in my downloads folder, I have that toggle all data.csv. I'm going to drag that and drop it right in here. Okay, so this says Immediately, I think because we were on the toggle table, it's going to be defaulted to the toggle table. And then it's going to ask us to configure all of the fields. So over on the left, it has field mappings. So I'm going to go through these in a second. The only real one I want to make sure I do right now is where it says seconds. That should pull from actual minutes, unfortunately. Um, and then task ID, I don't think I had brought in prior. Um, companies. I think that one should be brought in, which would be client name, project name, I think. Uh, and then afterwards, I will be checking the imported checkbox. But a few questions I usually get on this is, um, if you're looking to update a bunch of records, you could click this merge field here so say I had outdated information and all of these time entries were actually updated in, and they already existed. Some of them existed, some of them didn't. 
I wanted to update them. Here I could click merge with existing records and update based on the task ID field. I'm not going to do that because I'm just adding additional records to my to my Airtable base that did not exist there before. Um, but I would leave this checked if you exported from Airtable, the first row will be headers. And yes, I want to create missing select options. But basically here on the left, you pick the, the table field. Then on the right, you pick the CSV column. So this task ID, we will just not be bringing that in. Once you're ready to go, you just click save records. This is gonna take a little bit to save, but then it's gonna pop you back into the Airtable base and you'll see all your new records that were created. If you have larger CSVs, and this does have a limit to the number of rows you can import, but I believe it does it like 50 at a time. So if you don't see, or if you see that moving slowly, just know it is working. It's just probably moving like 50 at a time. Sweet, so now I can see a bunch of new records were created. Uh, easy way to see when these were, like which ones are new, is to add a field to your table that says created date and use the created time field type. So it's currently March 19th at 2.17 p.m. And so I know all of these down here were imported. And I just want to check this checkbox, copy it. So Command C, copy it. And then using some keyboard shortcuts, you can hold Command, hold Shift, and then hit the down arrow and then command V pastes it. So now all of these are imported. So that's how that works. And I will do a different, like I have a video on how to do a VLOOKUP automation. So here somewhere I have the project name. Uh, this in my old database it held the company name. So when I import this, I want to run a VLOOKUP automation to go find the company that has this name and link it right here. So if you're interested in how to do that now, after you import all this data, you don't wanna process it one by one uh, and you want to link it to the right other table, you can watch this video here in the end screen and it'll show you how to do that VLOOKUP automation. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, but hopefully this video solved your exporting CSVs and importing CSVs into Airtable. And now go watch that VLOOKUP automation script, or without a script. All right, I'll see you there, thank you.